Hello out there. Step right up to the television screen if you would. I am Max Magic, expert extraordinaire of virtuality, master of mental magic, and professor of psychic projection. I am a machine designed and built to perform magic. What? You don't believe me? Well, if I were human, could I do this? You and I, as partners, can perform 14 different magic tricks for your family and friends. For instance, in one trick, your friend chooses a colored shape while your back is turned. Then, you will magically read their mind and tell them what shape they chose. By Jove, I've changed personalities. I can lead you on a magical jungle expedition. Party on at your birthday blowout. Explore the mysteries of the inner mind. Or you can take your chances with me. In a real slick trick, your friend picks a random card from a real deck of cards. Then with nothing up anyone's sleeve, I reveal the card on screen. Let's take a quick tour of my magic mansion. On my stage are seven tricks we can perform together for your family and friends. In my inner sanctum are seven tricks I can perform for you. Since I am a machine, you can program me to make the magic work the way you want. There is a secret way to open my head that only you will know about. Inside my head, you can learn the secrets of the tricks, customize them, rehearse them, even tell me your name so I know what to call you. Perhaps I could perform a sample trick for you. Would you like that? To answer me, use the controller. Push up or down for yes, or left or right for no. Let's begin by exploring the unusual world of astrology. Here's an opportunity for you to Study the signs and how they match up to various birthdays. Let me know when you're ready to continue. I'm going to try to read your mind and reveal your astrological sign. I hope this doesn't give me a headache. Look into my eyes. Ah. Very good. I'm sure that your astrological sign is one, one of, of these. these. Am, Am I right? right? Is, your is your sign, sign one, one of these? these? Move, Move the, controller the controller stick, stick up, or up or down, down for yes, yes, or left or right, right for no. Well, well it, it, it must, must be your, your fault. fault. You, weren't you weren't concentrating hard enough. Hard enough. Let's, let's, let's try, try it again. again. Concentrate on your sign. Aha! This time I am sure I've got it. One of these signs is yours, isn't it? Of course. I told you it was just a sloppy start. We'll do it again. Concentrate. You better be thinking hard. Look at the screen. Once again. Your sign is among these, isn't it? Okay, I'm rather uneven this time. Let's try again, and I'll work a little harder. 
All right, before we continue, I think we'd better make contact again. Look into my eyes and concentrate. Well, one of these is definitely your astrological sign, isn't it? I am absolutely mortified. I think I'm going to change to a more straightforward approach. I'll look into this crystal ball and find your sign. This device comes in rather handy, don't you think? Hello there. Ah, I seem to have a new home. Oh, I'm not sure if we've met before. Why don't you enter your name now? Move the joystick left or right to find the first letter of your name. Then, press button 1. Now move left or right to find your name and press button 1 again. If your name is not listed, move the arrow down and click on Go Back. Then, choose a nickname. Homeboy, I welcome you. Let's do some magic. So tell me all you fun folks out in Partyland, what's a party without party games? Homeboy, does your friend enjoy guessing games like this? Wait a minute, why am I asking you? So, I'm sure you like party games. I like them because I am very good at playing them, and I'll prove it. Of course, it will take a very special person to work with us in this venture, so who do you recommend? Someone who's equally delighted to see me wearing this stupid thing on the TV screen. Okay, I think you'll do just fine. Homeboy, did you bring the name cards? Hey, what's the deal? Am I alone up here or what? Talk to me, I'm becoming very self-conscious in this ridiculous get-up. You won't believe how much that thrills me. Quickly, let's get started while it's still party time. Homeboy, show the name cards to your friend. You're going to let your friend see those nice name cards. You can see that my partner has prepared an assortment of names. Each one is different, and we're going to use these for our game. To keep things fair, I'll shut my eyes so that I can't see what you're doing. Maybe also I'll be able to pretend I'm somewhere else, like a tropical island. Well, do you expect me to sit here all day and wait for you to decide to do it? Turn the cards writing side down and give them to your friend. 
Okay. Before we go any further, please give the cards a complete cut. Are you satisfied? I certainly hope so. If not, you can cut the cards again. The fun just keeps on coming. Now, take the top card and put it in your pocket without looking at it. At this point, nobody could possibly know which name is on the top card. Not even you. We'll come back to the card in your pocket later. Not too much later, I pray. In the meantime, oh boy, hold on to your seats, because we get to play a guessing game using the remaining cards. Deal the top card of the pack face down onto the table. Good. Deal the next card onto the table, to the right of the first one. Now we're rolling. Deal the next card on top of the card on the left. Fine. Deal the next one onto the card on the right. Great. I'll wait while you continue dealing the cards back and forth, left, right, left, right, until you run out of cards. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. I'll just be checking the want ads for some other employment opportunities. Okay, let's put the pedal to the metal. Turn over the top card of the pile on your left, but don't show it to anybody. I'll try to guess whether it's a boy's name or a girl's name. I realize this limits your options. Hmm, I'm quite sure it's a male name, correct? What? Ladies and gentlemen, I call that trick human error. As I could not possibly have been wrong, some human must have made a mistake. Let's try it again. Oh no, why did I say that? Put that card aside and let's try again. Turn over the next card on the left pile. Hmm, this time I'll guess it's a boy's name. Am I right? You got it wrong. Who cares? It's party time. Do it again. Turn over the top card of the pile on the right and I'll guess whether that name belongs to a boy or a girl. Hmm, this time it's definitely a boy's name, isn't it? This is unbelievable. I have never, ever made three mistakes. There must be some sort of curse on me, as evidenced by this bizarre outfit in this strange party confetti. Well, I'll try it one more time. Turn over the next card of the pile on the right. Hmm, aha, this cosmic vibration tells me it's a girl's name. Is that correct? You see, I really am a good guesser. Good guesser, my gracious, I'm a magician. It's my job, of course I got it right. In fact, now I'll make the most difficult guess of all. I'll guess about the card in your pocket, which even you don't know. Hmm, let me think. The name in your pocket is a boy's name. Wait, before you look, let me go a step further and guess exactly what name it is. The name in your pocket is Mike. Take a look and you'll see that I'm right. Well, congratulations to me. And now that I've proven my abilities as a great guesser, I will guess one more thing. I'll guess that it's time for me to get out of this moron suit and get a real job. All right, so you think all I can do is read minds. So it's a simple trick if you've got a simple mind. I don't mind reading minds, but there's other things that I can do as well. And I got a little something right now I'm going to show you. This is a little chump, I mean chip game I picked up back when I was in the chips, if you know what I mean. Okay, here's how the game works, see? You and me take turns removing tokens. The one who's stuck taking away the last token loses the game. Okay, 
How many chips do you want to use? Just go ahead, pick a number, any number. Go ahead and choose the maximum number of tokens you can take away at once. Each time, you can take away one, two, or three tokens. Now remember, the one with the last token loses the game. Now, ha 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 ha, you want me to go first? Alrighty, for my first move, I'll grab two tokens. Okay, now it's your turn. The spotlight is over the token at the top left. Press button 1 to vanish that token. You may swipe up to three tokens. Got it? That means you can continue disappearing more tokens or just stick with one. Your choice. When you have clicked on the number of tokens you want to remove, hoof that spotlight down to highlight continue and press button 1 like a trigger. I'll take it from there. Hey, pal, what are you doing? Waiting for last call? Highlight continue and push button 1. Hmm, you spent some time in some casinos. Well, now it's up to me. My turn? Well, forget you ever saw these three. Aha! Let's see what you do now. Hey. My turn? Well, forget you ever saw this one. The cream rises to the top once again as High Rollin' Max wins the game. Do you want me to win another one for you? How does the saying go? A fool and his money are soon parted? Well, not soon enough for me. Here we go! Okay, you've played this one before. You know the drill. How many chips you want to use this time? Go ahead and choose the maximum number of tokens you can take away at once. Each time, you can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven tokens. Now remember, the one with the last token loses the game. Now, ha 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 ha, you want me to go first? Well then, just to show you what a great guy I am, you go first. The spotlight is over the token at the top left. Press button 1 to vanish that token. You may swipe up to seven tokens. Got it? That means you can continue disappearing more tokens or just stick with one. Your choice. When you have clicked on the number of tokens you want to remove, hoof that spotlight down to highlight continue and press button 1 like a trigger. I'll take it from there. Say, you've done this before, haven't you? Looks like I'll have to start paying attention. All right, for my first move, I'll take away... Three. Okay, now it's your turn. These chips must be fixed, marked, rigged. I bet you brought your own chips in with you, didn't you? Come on, stand upside down, shake your pockets out. Let's see if you got any more tricks up your sleeve. Whoa, must be some kind of alignment of the planets or something. I lost. Give me another chance to prove myself. Oh, I see. Once you've got me beaten and down, you don't want to give me a chance to come back up. Do you have a lucky number? Good! That makes you a superior person. Because I also have a lucky number. Here it is. My lucky number. Or at least it is for now. Tomorrow I might change my mind and pick a new lucky number. Magicians and mental giants such as myself are allowed to do that. Perhaps you are wondering why this is my lucky number. That knowledge will soon be revealed to you. Now, let us eliminate the pictures one at a time. Until only one is left. I'll do this by starting at the top of the circle, 
then counting around clockwise, eliminating each item at the position you choose. To do this, you need to pick a number. Use the controller to highlight any number you like, then press the button. Ah, you've selected two, so I will eliminate every second item. Here we go. One, two, and we'll shunt off the shoe. One, two, and we'll let loose the goose. One, two, and we'll extricate the egg. One, two, and we'll dispel the shell. One, two, and we'll set free the bee. One, two, and we'll haul off the hog. So that leaves one picture. Because of your free choice, we ended up with the bell. And now I'll explain my lucky number. Does this have the ring of truth? You see, I knew all along that we would end up with the bell. My number will prove it. Watch! When my lucky number is turned upside down, does this ring a bell? A round of applause for myself, please.